to, co się będzie działo, ta transformacja energetyki, wiąże się również z tym, że będziemy implementowali nowe rozwiązania, nowe technologii. Grupa i oraz grupy są bardzo chłonne w poszukiwaniu nowych pomysłów, dlatego też ta konferencja jest na miejscu i na czasie. The original power system uh, worked in only one direction. We had very large power plants and they would pump energy down to each customer and the power system did not know anything about who was using the power, how much they were using, why they were using it. The system in the field of energy has to become more intelligent. We have today information technologies which are allowing to put intelligence in the system between generation, between the generators, the transporters, the distributors, the consumers who are also prosumers. So you have completely new interfaces. We're going towards a digitalization of the residents as far as energy use, heat pumps as far as heating, synergies between power to gas type of technologies, synergies as far as residential storage equipment, and of course what is coming up slowly in the market, electric vehicles. Innowacyjność w energetyce jest wypadkową takich czynników jak polityka energetyczna, która powinna być innowacyjna, polityka właścicielska i wreszcie polityka regulacyjna. Trzeba poszukiwać w całym łańcuchu wartości, od począwszy od wydobycia węgla, poprzez jego wytwarzanie, dystrybucję, aż po sprzedaż i w każdym z tych obszarów można komponenty innowacyjne realizować. Energetyka w stosunku do tego, co się działo kilkadziesiąt lat temu, jeszcze 20 lat temu, bardzo znacząco się zmieniła. Będąc wcześniej po prostu dostawcą energii, nie patrząc na klienta, zmienia się w kierunku absolutnie nastawionym dla klienta. I think the market structures in certain Eastern European countries are not very different from the market structures that we have seen in Western European countries. It was in Western European countries quite interesting that it was initially often new companies that were taking forward renewables and now also the incumbent companies are playing a bigger role in this. There are a number of challenges particular to Eastern Europe, Central and Eastern Europe at the moment. One is the, uh, the, the connecting Europe and the elimination of so-called energy islands, and particularly in the energy sector. The other side, we're talking about further liberalization. We've just had long discussions about where does the market need to go, what are the specific challenges for Eastern European countries, in particular with regards also to climate policy. Thank you.